hi guys welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time being here thank you so much for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video today i'm gonna do the dtf hack again this time it was much easier for me to do because i am not using the mini press so i wanted to try to see how it would have worked using the cricket easy no the htv run auto heat press and this is the result now this is what it looks like and i'm gonna take you step by step in showing you how i got this design now what the the products that i used i used the yamation dtf film and this powder called jack bore okay so if you're interested do keep on watching okay guys we are in silhouette studio and i'm gonna use silhouette studio today to print i know some of you might not have silhouette studio but you can print from cricut design space you can also print from word the reason why i chose silhouette studio to print it's because i can easily manipulate the width and the height so some of you might know or may not know that um yamation dtf film the one that i have it comes in 8.3 in width and 11.7 in height so i could easily manipulate that using the paid setup on this side and that is why i chose to use the silhouette studio to print my dtf film now what i'm going to do the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here where it says width and height and i'm going to change my the width of my page to 8.3 and the 8.3 and the height i'm going to change it to 11.7 because that is actually the width of the dtf film that i am going to use and i'm going to press enter the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to go here where it says file and then I'm gonna go to merge. Now I'm going to get the um, image that I'll be using for this. Okay, when it comes in, as you might tell, it's very large. So you'll have to size it down to fit on this page, okay? So right now it's at 9.09 it's at .09 in width, that will be too big so i'm gonna take it down to around 7.75 so this is gonna be okay for the width and then i am going to manipulate the height of it so that it gets a little bit longer not exceeding the 11.7 inch that we are working with now it's at 10.2 I can tell because I'm looking up here where it says width and height. So it's telling me right now that the width of this image is 7.725, which will fit on this um, DTF film. And the height is 10.43, which is quite okay for what we are going to do. And what I like about this image is that even though i'm stretching it along the height it still doesn't lose its proportion it still looks okay even though i'm stretching it so what i'm gonna do now when i'm satisfied with this i am gonna go ahead and i'm going to press file and i'm gonna press print and what it's gonna do you're gonna press print and then you're gonna search for your epson i'm using my epson 2800 series and i'm gonna press preference then i'm going to use i'm gonna keep it at eight and a half by eleven letter size paper i'm gonna press portrait mode i'm gonna leave the paper type to be premium presentation paper mat the quality should be high and 
I'm going to leave job preview on. And then I'm going to go over here where it says more option. I'm going to mirror my image because we are sublimating. So we'll have to mirror. And then you are going to over here where it says advanced. You should ensure that the color mode is Adobe RGB and the gamma is 2.2. And you're going to press OK. You're going to press OK. And then you're going to press print. So I'm going to print it out and show you what to do next. Okay, guys, so this is my DTF film. I'm using the Yamation DTF film. And it's going to tell you which side you need to print on. You see here, it's going to tell you print side. So all you're going to do, you're going to take it out of the package. You're going to take it out of the package like this and don't switch the sides, okay? And I'm just going to put it in my printer just like this, okay? My printer is ready, so I'm going to press OK. And with my printer, I'm going to hold on to the paper and it's gonna, just going to feed through like that. So I don't have to stack anything on the back of my printer. I just press OK and it's going to be printed like that. Now I'm going to prepare the DTF powder to put on this. Okay guys, so this is the image that we did. I'm gonna put it aside. Before it dries, you will have to put the powder on it, okay? So the powder I'm using is the Jack Boar DTF powder, and I am going to coat it using the um, powder. Now, you have to be careful not to allow the image to smear and use a glove okay so i'm just gonna throw a generous amount and i'm just going to and what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna coat it using the powder ensure that all the image is coated this left you're gonna put it back in the container like this Okay, so this is what you're gonna have. The next thing you're gonna do, you're going to cure this. So I'm gonna take this over to my heat press. Okay guys, so I'm at my heat press. All you have to do, put it on your heat press and then you're gonna put it in. If you're using a heat press like mine, ensure that the auto is off so that it doesn't go down on the image and mess up your heat plate so i'm gonna leave that for about a minute or so and then i'm going to look at how it looks okay so you see already that it is melted the the powder is melted already and the colors look vibrant if i should put it down for you to see see that the color it melts already and the colors look vibrant i'm just gonna put it back for a little bit more and I have it at 385 degrees. So this is what you're going to have. The powder is melted. So what we're going to do, we're going to prepare our shirt. Okay, guys. So I'm using a Gilden heavy cotton shirt. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the, the tag. And I'm going to first lint roll the shirt. Then I'm going to preheat the shirt. Okay. And I'm going to find the middle of the shirt. What I'm going to do, 
I'm going to put some butcher paper in the shirt. Then I'm going to take the design and I'm going to put it on the shirt coming down about two inches. This is fine. Then I'm going to take butcher paper and put it over so that it doesn't mess up the press. And then we're going to press it for 385 degrees. This is a good sign. This is a cold peel, so I'm going to let it cool down and then we'll see if we could um if we could tear it um off if we could take off the transfer sheet so we'll have to wait until it's co completely cooled down so it seemed like it did not press so the pressure wasn't um as i would hope it to be so i'm gonna press it again with a towel underneath. Okay guys, so this is completely cool. So let's see how it works. This is what we have. It did, it did look like there was ink left on the paper but this is the result and i also noticed that there were some lines i'm not sure if you could see this like a little streak here i'm not sure what happened it wasn't there when i did the first press but i saw it after i did the second press so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to do it again to see how it came out but it feels very good on the fabric and it looks nice so i'm gonna try it again seeing if i could just press it initially with the towel on the heat press okay so this is it this is the result 